Hey everybody, this is Rory with RoryCodes.com, and welcome to Tasker Tip Tuesdays. Quick tips to help grow your Tasker knowledge. This week, I discussed local built-in variables. These are special variables not always shown in the variable tag menu, but do exist, and can be used within your tasks. I'll show you a few examples. The first local built-in variable is action error. Action error is only set to an integer if an error occurred when running the last action. Typically it's one, and if there is not an error, the variable is not set. For this example, I'm using a run shell command. This specific run shell command requires root access, which my device does not have. Now in order to make sure the error variable is set, I'll check the use root checkbox and also check the continue task after error checkbox. Now I'll back out of the task and run it with a flash action of the variable error and it should result in a 1. There you go. The next local built-in variable is action error description. It's basically a description of the error which last resulted in the variable error being set. Pretty self-explanatory. In order to test the action error description variable, I used an auto web web service action. I filled in some dummy information, including the term test in the file ID, which will guarantee me setting the error message variable. The other thing I did is I checked the continue task after error checkbox as you can see below. Then I backed out of the task, added a flash action with the variable error message, and ran them both. The result should be as shown. The task priority variable is usually an integer. It determines which task executes its next action when several tasks are running together. In a demonstration, I'll simply flash the priority variable, running it via the run button in the task edit screen should result in a 100. Task queue time is the number of seconds the task has been running. Again, pretty self-explanatory. I'll simply add a few wait actions while flashing the queue time variable in between them to demonstrate the length of the task in seconds. I've got one second and then four seconds, so I should get one and five. Hitting play, you can see the one variable and then the five. The final local built-in variable is task caller, denoted by caller. It's basically a variable array tracing the origin of the currently running task. So you'll have caller1, caller2, and so on. For this demonstration, I've got two actions. The first is a flash action, and the second is the perform task action. The name that the perform task action will be calling is called caller example. There's no parameters, and there's no return. So I'll back out, and I'll show you what the caller example task looks like. Scroll down. And it's got two flash actions, just to show you what the caller array looks like. Going back to the local built-in variables demo. I'll run both actions with the play button. The first flash should result in a UI because I'm calling it from the UI of Tasker. The perform task action will be slightly different. You'll see in a second. It's got the task name followed by UI. That's caller1 and caller2. Okay, everybody, 
if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of the Tasker Tip Tuesday series, please show your support below. Leave a comment, share the video with a friend, or just hit the thumbs up button. Okay, guys, until next time.